So folks, the big game last night, uh, Cass and Wakefield, did anybody see it? I did, I enjoyed it, I expected to enjoy it. I know one person seen it, my uh, my mate in the US of A, uh, messaging me all, almost every uh, couple of days, big rugby league fan, and Union he says, um, I believe he's watched it on, um, I think he subscribes to the uh, Wakefield channel there, watches it online, he'll have watched it today. Um, I messaged him when it got to 8-6 to Wakefield, I think Cass took a 6-0 lead, Wakefield got in front 8-6 and were playing really well. Um, I messaged him, asked was he watching it. I don't think he got the message until much, much later. He messaged me later saying he'd heard some of it. And I think he's on a radio channel over there, I think he mentioned. I may be wrong about that. But he said he'd, uh, he subscribes to the old Wakefield channel there and he's going to be able to watch it today in its entirety. Um, he was gutted about the result. Um, it was one of those games It was weird. Um, they went 8-6 they went up. They really came back into it well, Wakefield. They let in two really soft tries against Cass, and I think that really did them for the game. Cass went in with a decent lead at half time, and I don't think either of those teams are versed in coming back from um, big margins of uh, losing positions. Not this year, anyway, because they're both really, really struggling. Um, and it was weird. I mean, Cass always looked like they were going to be the winners. They always looked like they had a little bit more pace, and always looked like they were going to win. But that said, as the second half went on, I thought Wakefield got better and better and better. As I said to my friend in the US of A uh, today when I messaged him, uh, for me, um, Wakefield made a few bad decisions on the fifth and sixth plays, or four fifth and sixth plays. They dropped a few balls that you wouldn't have expected them to drop when they were in really good positions. I thought they got a couple of two, maybe three unlucky calls from the ref when 50-50 decisions always went against them. And I thought more of them should have gone for them than against them. Um, I think O'Linen was unlucky with that attempted try when it just hit the line. I mean, it was inches away from being a try. I think at that time, and without a drop ball just after that, them two things not have happened, it could have been really, really close. For me, the points margin flattered Cass a little bit. It really did. And I wouldn't be at all surprised if Wakefield don't still stay up. I thought they'd shown a lot of grit after going well down. I, I really did. And they've won a few games the last few weeks, and Cass have won nothing. Yeah, they've won that one game, but can they, will they use that as a springboard? They did look a better team with Austin in there, directing things and with some of his eye bombs. But I don't know. I don't know. I, fa I fancy Wakefield by the end of the season. I've not looked at all the fixtures of both teams. They may just do better than them. Uh, maybe not, but they may do. You know, they've got a class last night as a blip. Before that, they'd won, what was it, three out of six or four out of six, five out of seven. So they were in a good run of form. And I think they can come back. Anyway, we will see. But it was a good game. I really enjoyed it. Um... Going to try and catch a bit of the uh, other game that's on this afternoon, but I might be struggling. Uh, other than that, I'm waiting uh, for the old, the mighty wire tomorrow against Leeds, and we'll see how that one goes. But anyway, hope you all enjoyed it if you watched it.